697. So today I'm gonna to do a, a chrono test on this rifle that I built uh, and uh, the rifle specs uh, I stated in an earlier video, but I got a 33 inch 45 caliber barrel and I've got uh, a dump valve style valve here, which you fill this chamber up to whatever pressure you want. And when you pull the trigger, it dumps the entire chamber out. So I got the chamber here. Uh, there's, a, there's a pressure gauge on the other side of the gun here that I'll be able to read to tell what my pressures are. Uh, it's, not the, it's not a super uh, precision gauge, but it's the best I got at the moment. And uh, I'll start out by testing it with the, uh, the paintball tank here. The paintball tank is currently charged to about 2200 PSI. And uh, we'll be able to take a look at that and see what the PSI drop is per shot as well. Um, the output on this tank is 800 PSI per shot and they are fairly consistent, especially if you allow the, uh, the chamber to settle between, the, between shots as opposed to cycling quickly. Cycling quickly, you lose some of the consistency on these tanks, but for, uh, for shots that are allowed to settle, It'll be nice and steady. So what I'm testing is I'm gonna test three different bullets. I'll put a picture at the end of the segment with the uh, with the chart with the bullets on it. But I've got the biggest ones here are 196 grain, lubed in size 45 caliber. They're about 454 size, so they're really consistent. Then I've got these uh, just straight from the cast, and these are 0.453. They actually vary a little bit because they're not sized, uh, but they vary between 453 and 451 and uh, they're about uh, 186.5 grains or so, 186.7. And then I've got these 451 uh, lead balls, which are uh, 300, uh, I'm sorry, 139 grains. So I'll test with all three of these for velocity. And uh, I was gonna show the, uh, the chrono results on the camera, but as you can see from the upper corner here, the, uh, for some reason the camera reads the chrono uh, in a, in, 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 inconsistently so I, I can't see it it just kind of flows across the screen there so I'll bring it down here and announce the shots as I do it I'm gonna reset all that up take a couple test shots and then I'll get back to the shooting okay I'm, I'm all set up and ready to go here and I'm gonna take the shots I'm gonna start out with the uh, 0.454 slug and I, I'll do uh, I, don't know, I guess uh, I don't have actually a whole lot of these bigger lubed in size slugs so I've got at least 10 of them there so I'll do a five shot spread and we'll see uh, what the pressure change on the tank is it's currently just above 2000 and then I'll write down each size and we'll get an average if you look out in the field uh, in um, you can see where the bullets impact the plow the field the other day so you can actually see little puffs of dust where they come out so we're gonna start by charging the gun so the gun's charging we'll put the slug in The gun is settled, it says it's pointing basically exactly at the 800 PSI mark. This gun is loud enough that I'm gonna wear some earplugs, especially when I get up to the, I'm gonna try it with some higher pressure in a minute. So, shot number one. Four nine zero. As there's five shots, push the summary here. Low 48, obviously, high 503. 496 average. Now we're gonna move on to the uh, oh, 453 slugs. I'm gonna reset my chrono. Five to one average. Final group, I'm gonna use the round balls. I've recharged my cylinder uh, so that I could stay up in approximately the same pressure ranges. And uh, so we're gonna take these shots now. These should be the fastest.
592 average. Now I'm going to take a, uh, a couple of shots at about 1200 PSI. I'm filling this uh, not with the regulator, I'm filling it with the uh, tank here and just allowing pressure in until I reach my speed, my pressure that I want. So it's not going to be quite as consistent uh, of uh, pressure in the chamber, but I'm going to just do a couple shots or a shot with each uh, bullet to try it. So with, we're going to start with the uh, unsized slugs. That one fits nicely. So we just under 1200. That one was 592. Lubed and sized at 1200. And that one was 581. Final shot with the round ball. Hundred six seventy five. I've maxed out my gauge at fifteen hundred, maybe a couple of pounds more. Round ball. Six ninety-seven. So I'm done with testing, and uh, I'll give you the numbers just real quick here. Average on the uh, sized slug was four ninety-six, so under five hundred at twelve hundred psi. I got I only took one shot, and I got five hundred eighty-one feet per second. On the uh, the non-sized, the four five three slug, I got a five twenty-one average, and at twelve hundred psi, I got five ninety-two. And then on the round ball, I got 592 on the average, and these all these averages are 800 psi with five to six shot threads. And then I got 1200 uh, at 1200 psi, I got 675, and at 1500 psi, I got 697 on the velocity. So actually, not a lot of change for that 300 psi more gain. Uh, there's a big, much bigger uh, velocity change between 800 and um, 1200 than there is between. 1200 and 1500 so obviously diminishing returns the only way i think i'll get more velocity out of this gun is to either put massively more air pressure in it which wouldn't do a lot for me or make a longer barrel so if i if i had a smaller chamber and more air pressure i could probably get better velocities um, or i could just get a longer barrel which i don't really want to because the thing's already more than four feet long so probably about time to go back to the drawing board and build another gun this one's functional obviously but uh it could be better so it's all an experiment and it's all for fun and thanks for watching.